On today's horror author show and tell, best-selling author of the Joe Ledger series, Jonathan Mayberry, stick around. <laughs> Welcome back to The Witch Hunt, everybody. I'm Gabby Triana. I'm the author of Moonchild, The Haunted Florida Series, Wake the Hollow, and lots more books for teens and adults. I am super happy to have a good friend with me on the show today. He's the New York Times bestselling author of the Joe Ledger series, the Rotten Ruin series, his latest novel, Ink, and he's also the editor of the new iteration of Weird Tales magazine. Uh, the Netflix show V Wars was based on his comic books. Uh, let's see, you can find him on panels and interviews and workshops all across the internet. He also hosts a segment every Thursday on his Facebook page called Ask Me Anything, where fans are constantly asking him about the stuff behind him on his shelf. Well, he is here with me today to share one of those favorite items. Please welcome Jonathan Mayberry. My name is Jonathan Mayberry. I'm a New York Times bestselling author in multiple genres. Horror, science fiction, fantasy, thrillers, mystery, uh, probably some others I'm forgetting. And also I'm a comic book writer. And I wanted to talk about one of my favorite items on my shelves back there. Let me turn this around and uh, talk about it. So one of my favorite items is this. It is Wolverine as a zombie. Now, for those who are not familiar with the Marvel Zombies comics, um, all the Marvel zombie, all the Marvel characters became zombies. And Zombie Wolverine is my particular favorite. The reason for this, and the reason I have this, is some years ago I was invited to join uh, the team writing Marvel Zombies Return. And uh, my part of it had Zombie Wolverine in it. It was a team of four of us. It was Fred Van Lent, um, Seth Graham Smith, who you probably know from uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, uh, David Wellington, and myself, each writing different uh, issues within a, a mini series, and I did the uh, Wolverine one, where he he and Spider Man are involved in uh, uh, a hunt for a cure for the disease, but also Wolverine gets to kill a lot of the uh, uh, Marvel uh, martial arts characters, which is kind of fun. Now, the reason I, I love this particular item so much, um, three different reasons actually. First, I was a Marvel kid growing up, and I absolutely loved Marvel comics. They, you know, in fact. Don't go away. The very first comic book I ever bought with my own money was Fantastic Four. Um, so I've, I've got Marvel history going way back to the 60s. I was also a huge fan of Night of the Living Dead and all things zombie. And in fact, I became close friends with and, and a business partner of George Romero. He and I did this anthology together of stories set in the 48 hours around Night of the Living Dead was the last project George completed before he died. And it was my pleasure and honor to work with him on that. He was such a such a great guy. We, we used to talk on the phone and geek out with all sorts of pop culture stuff. He's just the best. Um, so between my Marvel background and my uh, zombie background, and I have spent way too much of my life trying to figure out how to survive the zombie apocalypse. Granted, nowadays I can look back and say, oh, that was just research, because I've written a ton of zombie books. I've written the Rotten Ruin series, which is now in development for film, the Dead of Night series. Um, I did uh, graphic novels of different kinds with zombies in them. Uh, my, my thriller series, pa uh, Joe Ledger, started with Patient Zero, which was a zombie book. So I've, I've got a lot, of, a lot of affection for my life-impaired fellow citizens. And... Um, uh, it, Every, all the stars aligned. Uh, Marvel kind of called me out of the blue to ask me if I'd like to write for Marvel, and I wound up starting with Wolverine. My very first Marvel comic was, in fact, a Wolverine short. And then, of course, later I did Marvel Zombies Return with the crew, and that was just a bunch of fun. Um, as far as zombies go, um, I have, I'm have i still writing zombie stuff. I even put some zombies in my latest novel, which is an epic fantasy, my first in that genre. So big fan of all things Living Dead. Big fan of, of monsters, big fan of my Living Dead Wolverine, and also another thing that they sent me, which was kind of fun, is Zombie Spider-Man. So uh, those were gifts from Marvel, and they are treasured uh, additions to my shelves full of very weird stuff. 
everything here has a story for me. And that's kind of how it should be for a writer. Everything has a story. So thanks for letting me share my story. Take care. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. That was incredibly cool. My nephew Logan is a big fan of Wolverine, so I can't wait to show him this. And it never, never ceases to amaze me that you got to work with George Romero on that anthology project. How freaking lucky were you? So thank you so much for sharing the zombie Wolverine and zombie Spider-Man with us. And I look forward to doing another show and tell with you in the future so you can show us more of your cool shelf stuff. Well, that's all the time we have on the show today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more content with more amazing horror authors. Until next time, I'm Gabby Triana. Thanks for joining us here on The Witch Hunt. Bye-bye.